This whole guy DIY video has to do with my advice not to buy Chinese thimbles and ferrules if you're working with wire rope and actually doing a job that requires it to have some strength. So when my local tractor supply didn't have the quarter inch thimbles and ferrules that I needed and said it would be a couple of days to get the items where they wanted $4 for one thimble and one ferrule, I thought, hey, it's going to be two days. I'll just buy it from Amazon. I'll save some money. So I went to Amazon. The first ones that popped up were 25 for $12, so it was going to be $0.50 cents for the thimble and another $0.50 cents for the ferrule. I thought, great deal. So I bought this stuff from China, and when it showed up, I realized that it was like arts and crafts material or miniature stuff. It's not what you need if you're actually going to be using wire rope that's going to take a load. So when you look at the picture of the thimble, the one on the bottom is the Chinese one, and you see the diameter is smaller, although the overall length of the piece seems to be about the same. And when it came to the ferrule itself, which you'll see in just a moment here, the ferrule from China was 1.029 inches, and the ferrule that I had previously gotten from Tractor Supply was an inch and a half. So with that one inch, there would possibly be the opportunity to put three swages on there, but certainly not four, as is required to do a decent swage on a quarter-inch cable. But in summary, I suggest you go to Zoro, Z-O-R-O, -O, online, Get their stuff. They ship out of Chicago. It takes about two days to get it, and you'll be much happier. Have a great day.